Odds are you've got a suit. Odds are you look and feel pretty good in that suit. What if I told you you could look and feel absolutely amazing every time you wear your suit? Well, today I'm gonna help you make that a reality. Welcome to Essential Style. You're gonna love this video. First step to looking amazing and feeling amazing in your suit. You wanna make sure you absolutely nail the fit. You wanna get this suit that you're wearing as close to perfect as possible. I did a video recently on how a suit should fit. If you wanna check it out, it's going to be over up in that corner over there. Definitely check it out, a lot of good information and it seems like those who watched it liked that video. So definitely check it out, you're gonna love it. Basically when you wear that suit, you want it to fit you slim, not tight. You wanna have enough room in your shoulders that you don't feel like it's constricting your movement. You do want the jacket to be building up your shoulders, slimming down your waist. You want the sleeves to be showing some shirt cuff right there. You want it to just drape nicely. You want that length to be good. For the pants, you don't need to go super slim in the thighs. Actually, the baggier in the thighs, the easier it's going to be to move, but you don't want them to be super long and you don't want them to be super billowy either down on the opening by your shoes. There you go, crash course. But like I said, check out that video up there if you wanna see more detail. Make sure you are wearing the appropriate shoes with your suit. Keep them polished and clean. Make sure they match the formality of the suit that you're wearing. You don't wanna be wearing any big, bulky, square-toed shoes. You just wanna make sure that you're wearing really good shoes. This is not an area that you should be skimping out on. Stepping up your shoe game when you're wearing a suit is probably the single best thing that's going to take your look and get it up to the next level. As you can see, I'm wearing a pair of black Allen Edmonds Park Avenues with a black belt to match. I've got a business tie. This is about as formal as I can go with this suit. This is a very business-like tie, business-like color, business-like silhouette business shoes, I'm ready for the boardroom, I'm ready for an interview, I'm ready to look my absolute best. This is super, super formal, or as formal as I can go at least. But now normally I would not wear black shoes, I would end up just picking something like this, the Allen Edmonds McAllister in dark chili, or depending on what I'm wearing, I would definitely wear the walnut strands. These could be a bit trickier if you're wearing with a dark navy suit, you could absolutely do it though, but I would not wear these with this tie. I would definitely change the tie or just figure something else out altogether. And this is a more realistic depiction of how I would actually wear this suit. I would always choose the mid-brown wingtips with the mid-brown belt to match. I would choose these all the time over black shoes. I just like brown shoes a whole lot better. The only time I would choose black shoes is if I absolutely had to choose black shoes because it was a super formal event or it was black tie or something crazy like that. So definitely do some digging, do some research, do some shopping, whether it's online or in person, and find a pair of brown shoes that you absolutely love. I can always recommend the Allen Edmonds Dark Chili color. This is their wingtip boot, the Dalton. This is a great color because it's that mid-brown. It's bright enough that it could actually pop, but it's not so overbearing like the walnut strands we were looking at before, or something like the Beckett Simenon Kent in oak. And as you can see, this is pretty much the same exact color. One just calls it dark chili, one just calls it oak. So this color is gonna be the most versatile that you can pick. And this is my absolute favorite color for dress shoes. The next tip I just wanted to mention, this isn't going to really matter as much with the suit because that suit jacket's going to build up your shoulders and slim down your waist. But the better shape you are in, the more muscular you are and the slimmer you are, the better that suit is going to look. It's only going to accentuate that masculine figure that you've already got naturally. If you don't have a lot of muscles up here, maybe you're carrying a bit of an extra gut right here, I would definitely say look into some nutrition plans, clean up your diet, and definitely start hitting the gym. This is probably the single best thing that you can do to look better in any clothes, not just while you're wearing a suit. Always wear a pocket square when you're wearing a suit. For this outfit, I would typically choose this bright blue pocket square like that but it looks a little bit too busy for this one just because I've got the white shirt the yellow tie and the bright blue if I were you I would say it's easier just to play it safe get a nice white solid pocket square it's going to match with everything if you do wear the white shirt and the white pocket square it can look a little bit too matchy matchy i always prefer to contrast the color of the pocket square with the shirt but if i am wearing a tie with the suit you can see it actually does look nice speaking of neckties if you're going to take your jacket off but leave your tie on like this 
my opinion, this is just not a very good look. This doesn't do a lot to build up your shoulders and slim down your waist. The tie just looks very off-putting and just very weird when you're wearing the dress shirt all buttoned up. It just looks like you got tired of wearing that suit jacket. You just look pretty generic and a lot of other guys out there are already just losing the jacket but keeping the tie on. Uh, something else you shouldn't do with the tie is unbutton the top button and loosen your tie. If you're going to actually do this, you're better off just taking that tie off all together and leaving your butt collar unbuttoned like that. And then you can always, for a more casual look, roll up the sleeves. Now with the white shirt and the navy pants, it does look very plain Jane. I'm not a big fan of this look either, but if you are going to loosen that top button, go ahead and nix the tie all together. It's just gonna look a lot better. And it's a case of where less is more. Now you should always nix the tie before you nix the jacket. Reason being is that suit jacket is just going to complete your look and it's still going to build up your shoulders and slim down your waist. Whereas just wearing a tie without a jacket is just gonna make you look super generic. I would always wear the jacket unbuttoned if you don't have a tie. I think it looks a little bit incomplete if you button it up without a tie. But I would always say, first take off the tie, then take off the jacket. I don't like wearing a shirt and tie with no jacket at all. If you're going to wear a tie with a dress shirt, make sure that the dress shirt has a stiff collar like this. You don't want to wear a button down collar shirt with a tie like this. Now I have done this before. I did not like the way it looked at all. Every time I'm watching a TV show or I see someone with a button down collar and the tie around, it just something that I do not like the look of. It just makes the collar look all like weird and bacony. It's a lot of curves in the collar. Does not look as slim and as sleek as just having a spread collar like this. So when in doubt, when you wear a suit, I would always say pick a collar that just folds over. No button down collar for this. You can do it but just understand that if you want to wear a tie with it, you have to be okay with the look of the button down collar folding over the tie and your collar's not going to be ramrod straight like this one is right here. You're not gonna have any collar stays in your button down collar. You're gonna to wanna to think about your dress shirt as well. You wanna make sure that it fits well. You wanna make sure that it's long enough so that it's poking out at the end of your suit jacket. This is gonna add some nice detail toward the end of your sleeves of your suit jacket. And overall, it's gonna make it look like the suit fits you more perfectly than if you just had the sleeve that was super long like this. This just looks like the sleeves are too long and you get one size too big in the jacket. Now your dress shirt should be ironed and properly fitted as well. Pay attention to the shoulders right here. You want the shoulders to hit right here. When you button up that collar, you don't want it to be too big. You don't want it to be choking you. I like to go a little bit big just because it's a bit more comfortable. I can squeeze three fingers in there and the collar still looks good. Now when you're wearing a suit jacket, you don't have to really worry about the shirt billowing out just because the suit jacket's going to hide this, but it is always a good idea to get a shirt in a slim fit or something that fits slim for you. And what I like to do is sort of like a military tuck where you just tuck the excess fabric into the back of the shirt. That way, if the shirt does come untucked a little bit, you're not gonna get that crazy muffin top look and it's still gonna give you a slim, lean silhouette. And now as a bonus tip as well for the sleeves poking out, something that I realized is I leave this cuff unbuttoned. Reason I do that is because I wear my big bulky Seiko SKX009 dive watch and I find that when I do this sleeve still sticks out where is if I button the sleeve sometimes it can hide it right there it just doesn't show as much cuff so that's just something that I've noticed I have had people some of my friends tell me you forgot to button your cuff and I just say nope I actually do this on purpose just because this shirt does not have any type of secondary cuff button right there. So I just leave it unbuttoned. That's the way I like to roll. While white dress shirts are going to be your best bet and the easiest to wear with your suit, you're never going to go wrong with a white shirt. Don't be scared to actually change it up and wear something with a pattern, maybe even a light blue color. Here I've just got this navy micro gingham pattern shirt right here buttoned down. And now this just adds a lot more dimension and interest to your overall outfit because now you've got a classic pattern shirt. You've got the white pocket square, which contrasts a bit more with that pattern shirt. Mid-brown belt, mid-brown shoes. We went from a very business-like type of suit at first with the black shoes, the tie, the dress shirt, or the white dress shirt, and the white pocket square too pocket square pattern shirt buttoned down and brighter colored shoes. Now this is definitely something that I would wear to a wedding if I wanted to stand out. Just note because this gingham shirt does not have a button down collar, it's not going to look as good with the tie as if you picked a shirt with 
regular standard dress collar like that, non button down. But this is a casual shirt anyway. Usually, casually, you want to dress things down. So it's okay to mix a tie all together for this particular look like this. Now, of course, in the winter months, you could always layer a thin sweater in between your suit jacket and your dress shirt. This is going to keep you warmer, but also going to add a dimension of interest and a dimension of style to your outfit. This is definitely a lot more dressed down than we started with, but this is a great option as well. Just a different look that you can wear your same one suit with but still look and feel amazing. You're gonna wanna choose a color that you love. My personal favorite color for suits is navy blue. I have this one, which is a more classic navy blue. I also have another suit that's a bit more of a mid blue. That video that I referenced before about the suit fitting that's gonna be in this corner, that's where I was wearing my mid blue, more like a medium blue. That one's just a bit more exciting and a bit more appropriate for all weather. It's just a bit more casual, a bit more interesting than the dark navy blue. However, dark navy and charcoal gray are going to be classic colors. You can never go wrong with these. The charcoal gray is going to be a bit more versatile, but in my opinion, navy just looks a lot more classic and it matches with a lot more skin tones. And especially if you're a little bit older, maybe you got some gray hairs coming in your beard, gray hairs on top. If you wear a gray suit and it matches too closely with the color of your hair, it can start to look a little bit too matchy-matchy. So navy blutes, blutes. Navy suits and blue suits are my personal favorite. Don't let me make that decision for you. You gotta find out what you love wearing. That way, when you wear it, you look and feel amazing. And with that, I just wanted to say, find a suit that you absolutely love wearing. If you love wearing it, you're gonna wear it more often. You're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna be perceived as more attractive to other people. People are just gonna to wanna to talk to you more. You're gonna look great, you're gonna feel amazing, and your confidence is gonna be through the roof. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you had fun. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That way we can spread this knowledge and spread this video to other people. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.